Today's project, we're going to be moving, removing this outdated bat wing antenna and replacing it with a new one Gar 360 Plus model. Um, there's a couple of reasons for doing this, not just for fun. Uh, this other one actually is damaged. One of the poles is bent, and I don't want to straighten it because you can straighten it when it normally snaps off. Um, also, this has a lot of moving parts. Moving parts just cause issues over time. They wear out, they bind, they break, and it's higher in the wind, which means it could potentially leak at the base. The new one has no moving parts. It's omnidirectional, which means I don't have to aim it ever, um, and it's lower, lower profile overall. So it's supposed to be a little better signal than the old one, but yeah, we'll see how that works out. However, let's get started. Tools we're gonna need. Some type of scrapey thing. I use these two plastic ones. They tend to put less holes in the membrane. A pair of pliers, untwisted cable, heat gun. Use this to heat up the die core or whatever sealant's up there. Knife, utility knife, useful to have always. Three thirty second Allen wrench to remove the Allen screw out of the old uh, bat wing handle. Uh, a drill of some sort with a thing to remove screws, fan any screws. And some type of cleaner. I use lacquer thinner, it's a bit harsh. Um, Mineral spirits, or basically just rubbing alcohol, would probably work the same. Uh, this happens to work pretty well, but actually, that is your best friend when doing these things. <clears throat> Hardest part of this project, the longest amount of time, is getting the old sealant off the roof. It takes a long time. Right, let's unbox this thing. I have no idea what's in here, so let's get started. Okay. We got some cable. Screws. And a power switch. Okay, I guess this is. Instructions. So, in the box is this power supply, and it's supposed to run 12 volts, it says there, but I'm looking at mine, and from what I can tell, that's that guy is inside there, so we're going to get some screw, we're going to pull that off, see what's behind there, and it's probably the same as this, but we're going to take a look quick, so let's get that out of there. So I pulled that loose and it appears to be the exact same thing that the other one was. So without getting into this, because it's so easy to get to. Damn it. Um, yeah, we're going to hook it up on the roof, try it out, and then hopefully I don't have to mess with that. And then this guy can just go back in the box. Okay, so we're going to have to take out that Allen wrench, pull this off, so we can get to the screws up here, get that down, so let's get that off there. I got that Allen screw off, so this guy, there's nothing fancy to it, take a look at that guy, it's a set screw, this just has an Allen bolt, hold it on, slides on, just pull, pull it off, that's it, and the spring will fall off. Keep your parts, in case you want to put it back or sell it. After you get that out, this guy is just pressed up in there. Grab, pull, ta-da. Don't take these four screws out. Get this plate off of here. After you do get those off, they do give you this plate to cover that. And it's gonna be close, but 
we'll give it a shot. Let's go up on the roof, get that stuff off of there, and then get this on later. We're on the roof. Let's look at what we're getting at. Okay, so here's the old bat wing. Sorry about the wind. Uh, we're going to try and use a heat gun here. Heat this up, peel this back so we can get the screws and pry this off. Give the noise after hours of scrubbing and cleaning with all of that. Uh, and I decided to clean that up while I was sitting here because well, why not? Anyways, sorry about the wind. This is where this is gonna go. So we are gonna run butyl tape around the top ring, and then we're gonna screw this down. Um, we're also probably gonna put some die core around the outside. So, all right, we're on there right now.
We're back in the camper. We hooked up to the original. You guys can see this this guy here, which is the powered stuff. Same thing that looks like it comes with that antenna with the on-off power switch there. Um, we'll screw that back on in a second, but real quick, we're going to do a channel scan. So let's see what happens. See how many channels we get. While this channel scanning, I uh, have not finished actually sealing around the antenna up above. I was going to wait to do that till after this finish to make sure everything's working correctly. Um, looks like the antenna is hooked up. Uh, I'll show you over here. We're about to get the one wire hanging down. And actually we're going to end up stuffing that up there. And then we will take these screws out, if that works, um, and put that plate over there. Back to this guy. Well, there you have it. I got the new antenna on the roof, the old removed. I got the TV scanned and actually working. It's not a bad project. Anyone can do it. Uh, I mean, just takes some screws and a little bit of time and patience. So, anyways, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. We'll see you in the next project.